Okay. Welcome, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Money Talk Tuesday. I always have a little anxiety, Megan, when we have Money Talk Tuesday because even though I'm a business coach and I help my clients focus on their profitability and on their money, bookkeeping is not one of my favorite things to do. So when we talk bookkeeping, I always get a little like, ah. So tell me what we're talking about today so everyone can not feel like I feel. And you've helped me kind of get a better understanding and not be so afraid of it all the time. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. It's getting better. Um, today, we're going to talk about the why behind the how. I hear a lot of questions about like, how do I do this? Well, it, that doesn't matter so much as the why behind it. If you understand the why, the how becomes infinitely easier because you, you get the how. So can I give you a little background on this? Yes, please, because I do get hung up on the exactly what am I supposed to put where and when and like I almost lose sight of the why because I'm just like, I just want to do it right and get out. <laughs> I just, just mm -hmm. want to do it. I just tell me step by yeah. step what I'm supposed to do. But when you start explaining to me why I'm doing certain things, it absolutely did get easier. So yeah, give us some background. Yeah. So I was one of those super lucky turds that math always came really easy to me. And when I got to high school, I didn't realize that my brain kind of worked a little bit different. When I got to high school, my, my calc teacher said to me, he's like, your brain works different. Uh, that was kind of a compliment. And the reason is I like, I can see how the numbers work. I mean, there's like pictures in my head. So when to find like the, the area of a circle, when you say, see pi times radius squared, I can see that radius squared and those little blocks fitting in that and realizing that, yeah, about really? about three of those would be perfect for that fit. And so it just, and so when this common core math started coming out and people were rebelling and, and it's just terrible, it's just terrible. Well, the wave has kind of turned and people are like, oh, they're teaching the kids the why behind. They're teaching it, the kids, how I have always been math how these relationships work in the why it works behind, behind it, right? Okay. And so the other day I'm coming across posts on Facebook about people asking, how do, how do I do this thing? Or can somebody just show me how to do the bookkeeping? How? I'm like, well, that's not really going to help. When you start answering questions like, why did I buy this ring of paper? That, that will dictate how you do your bookkeeping. Well, I bought it because it's going to help me you know, with the workflow of how I, how I do this stuff in the office. Oh, office, office expense, you know? So why did I do these Facebook ads? Oh, to, to get clients. That's going to go anything where I'm spending money to get clients. That's going to go in my get clients account. You can even rename your accounts. It might say marketing, but you can call it your get clients account, right? So can your we? accounts where you're part. Yeah. You, you can make your account to say like advertising or marketing or something like that. Mm -mm. Name them how you, name you them how your brain works. Ever, yes, name them how your brain works and answers the question: Why did I spend this money? Why did this money come in? Oh, this money came in because there was a, a government PPP program. Oh, that's why it came in. Let's name an account PPP money. That's why. That's why I have it. Let's name that account. Oh, it was my new, it was my new coaching program that I just launched. We're going to name that one coaching program because that's why the money came in. And so forget the how that can, there's going to be, there's always going to be little bits and pieces that get moved around and cleaned up just a little bit. But if you're, if your accounts just answer, why do I have this particular transaction? Everything will fall into place. So why is this money? This is for taxes. Why do I have this money? This is to pay for furniture, furniture for a client, or this is to take a client out to dinner or for gifts, right? So you can actually name accounts that way. And at the end of the year, when your accountant is doing your books or your taxes, they're going to understand your definitions also. Yes. Yes. Because really, like I was talking to my um, web designer the other day and I was mm -hmm. telling him I want this, this and this. And I didn't tell him why I wanted it. 
and, and it took a little bit of extra programming and stuff. And he's asking all these questions like, well, hold on a second. Let me tell you why I'm asking for this. And he came back with a solution that was 10 times cheaper and easier than what I was anticipating. And then what he was anticipating in this complicated back and forth conversation. I was just like, well, this is why I want this. And he's like, oh, oh, all we're gonna have to do is add a template here. And anytime that product is in there, boom, that's gonna pop up. I'm like, thank you. That's all I needed. Understand the why and it all falls into place. That does help. It definitely does help because I think when we get caught in our QuickBooks, as everyone does, and they go, oh my God, like I'm so overwhelmed. If you actually look and just take it step by step, transaction by transaction, what was this money? Why did this money come in? Or why did it go out? What was it used for? That's the simplest starting point. Mm -hmm. And then place it accordingly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I love the method that you use with your clients about how you have them divvy up the money when it comes in. Cause it does answer the question. Why? Like, uh, why do I have this? money? Oh, I need to pay for my client's furniture. Oh, I need to pay for my taxes. Absolutely. When I teach my clients, um, the system I want them to use to track their income and their expenditures and they do it, <laughs> that's the key. And they actually do it. It's amazing how quick, quickly they start to become profitable and they're seeing the profit and they're understanding it, which is even more important. And then in understanding it, they start to realize and we start to calculate, okay, how many clients do I actually need in order to pay for my expenses and make a an salary and make a profit, right? It's like, it all just becomes clearer, but it's funny because you said that I do explain to my clients how their why at a different level than you're explaining today. You're explaining it applies even to your bookkeeping. Yes. Yes. Like, it's, it's, and I mean, it's, that, well, it's, it's whether it's it is hiring a coach, like, why would I hire a coach? What's the outcome I'm looking for? Why would I have this expense? And that even adds an extra like lens that you're looking through your expenses at and going, wait, why did I have that expense? Really, I shouldn't have had that expense? Or, oh, this expense is treating me really well. This, this, uh, this method of marketing or this method of really loving on my clients is working really well. Let's um, free up some more cash for that thing. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Revealing. Excellent. Okay. We're going to try, we try to keep, especially Money Talk Tuesdays, we have to keep it in small bites because it's painful sometimes for people <laughs> to talk about their money and their bookkeeping and their accounting. Um, while I'm here, though, let me answer Linda, who actually called me a while ago. So, Linda, one of my assistants is calling you. Check your junk mail. Check your um, spam folder because you did get a email automatically from my system 24 hours before. Today I'm holding a master class, Megan. And Linda says she didn't get the email to get her into the class. So well, thanks, um, and you'll, also, <laughs> right, you'll also get one at 11 o'clock Eastern time, which is in about 20 minutes. And it will probably also go into your spam or junk folder. But my assistant, Sally, will be calling you um, to make sure you get the information. So I forwarded that to her. So just so you know, Linda. Um, so, okay. So Money Talk Tuesday, we will be here next Tuesday today. If you didn't hear from the beginning, go listen from the beginning. It's only a nine-minute video. Understanding your why around your money coming in or money going out is going to help you simplify your bookkeeping and not make you feel so overwhelmed by it. That's what I just got out of this. And that's what you've done for me. So if anyone is struggling with their bookkeeping and understanding why they're doing that, Megan helps. She doesn't do the bookkeeping for you, but she helps you. Would you like to explain it? For my, in my term, you help me understand my bookkeeping, take the overwhelm out of it and get me on a steady schedule to do it regularly so it doesn't pile up and turn into a freaking nightmare yeah my, like that? my vision in my head of these of of my clients is <laughs> like running through this prairie full of wildflowers with joy because they finally understand their numbers and they just they get it they get it and it's not hard it's no longer frustrating and overwhelming it's this 
<sighs> and they can use that to really capitalize on everything that you teach and really put money in their pocket. And that's why when you coach one-on-one -on -one with me, I give you a session with Megan when the time is right so she can add to the knowledge that I'm giving you. It's part of my coaching program. But if you don't need me, but you just need her, you can also get right to her um, and tell them where to find you. Yes, come on over to MeganDolly.com. Um, I'm launching a really fantastic ebook, and it's only going to go up for, for free to the people who are on my email list, and then it's going up for sale. So if you go to my website, MeganDolly.com, when that ebook is ready at the end of next week, you will get a free copy before everybody else has to pay for it. I don't know if I'm on your email list. I got to get on it because I want a copy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Everybody enjoy the rest of their day. Stay focused on being positive and building your business and looking at your bottom line, understanding your numbers. And if you need me, you know where to find me. And if you need Megan, now you know where to find her. And Megan, make sure you go into the comments and put your website. I will do that. Okay. Bye, everyone. See you next week for Money Talk Tuesday.